Hello everyone and welcome back, Meat Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. So the huge chef cat is probably the most popping thing right now in Pet Simulator X. So for one of the first times, Big Games has collaborated between its own other game, My Restaurant, and well, you have a chance to get a free huge chef cat just by playing the game. So let's take a look in the index here before I go ahead and show you the easiest build in my opinion. I'm gonna show you what my current build is at, you know, Kind of a semi intermediate level meaning i have like eight floors and then i'm going to shoot over to a brand new character i've only been playing a very short amount of time to see the starting phases of the build and how you're going to transition forward to really start getting up to 5,000 customers per hour and it's really simple easy build guys doesn't require anything crazy so let's hop into the index right here we definitely want to go ahead and search up chef and there it is right there. There's already 547 of these at the time of recording, guys. Wow. So, man, that is absolutely insane. There's 547 and plenty more to go. So I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to last. Probably a week or so. So you want to hop on it now. There's actually 153,000 players on that game right now. It has been resurrected because of this collaboration with Pet Simx. So you know what? Let's go check out my restaurant. Okay, so here is my restaurant, guys. And this is actually on one of my alt characters. So he's got the Happy Halloween Meat Department 2021 shirt. This guy I haven't touched in a couple years, and that's about when I stopped playing this. And yeah, I'm level 108 with 5.4 million guys. I have, let's check it out here. I have up to the eighth floor. I never purchased anything higher, but I'm going to show you the build right here because this is really what I'm talking about. So in my opinion, this is the easiest build. Now, I have some additional things here, but as you progress through the game, you'll be able to buy some of the cool things in the shop um, so that you could like increase celebrities with the jewelry case or things like that. I bought the jukebox and that kind of thing. Uh, because you know, I was just having a little bit of fun a couple years ago, but you really don't need it So as you see here the main purpose of this build is to funnel your customers in to a central location always located in the teleporter because it's easy access for them to then teleport to the next floor which is the exact same layout guys and you'll notice there's a similar pattern here things are blocked off now where I have my kitchen is actually in floor number three and again this follows the same principles we want to keep all of the waiters waitresses and the chefs all bundled up together so they don't have to really spend much time moving we have a bunch of luxury stoves and obviously this is something you're going to work up to and naturally as you just afk to get that 100k guys you're going to be able to afford a lot more of this stuff trust me so as you see on the bottom i have 75,000 out of 100,000. i've been doing this less than a day guys and i haven't touched the game for years prior i honestly didn't make any tweaks to my build at all i literally just logged in went afk and let it rip so that's the power i was level 80 when i started now i'm 108 for some contacts i just want you guys to know i didn't do anything special this is literally like one of the decent builds from a couple years ago to keep the workflow strong and i just wanted to share it with those of you out there because there's so many videos showing you how to build all these things and look at this one this one is literally a matter of having one two three four five six seven tables and chairs keeping everything at the teleport area and that's about it you could add obviously these little silverware carts if you want i put gumball machines and all kinds of stuff in because i had it but it's not really necessary because the main focus here guys is getting customers in and customers out and that's why the workflow is just that important guys so as we even teleport up to seven here see it's the same thing across the board all the floors have the same layout the point is the customers pop up they're able to instantly jump onto any of these tables. The same thing for the waitresses or the waiters. They pop up, they're in this spot. They can literally take the orders, pass food, take plates from all of these tables, and then boom, go right back down to the kitchen and do their thing. They can stick it in the dishwashers, place their order, pick up the food, and go ahead and deliver it back down to these tables, and everything is good to go. What I like to do with my character is sit right here at my little uh, machine, and really I just spam auto click the E button and I help them out a little bit just so they don't have to stand here. But honestly, I have all of the staff members on the waiter side at this point. Now, as you see, a bunch of them are lower level, right? I probably had up to this point right here. I had three, six, nine, 12, maybe 15 of them before I started playing this. 
and I bought a, a, a bunch of them at first because I could. They got up to max level already and then a little bit ago I bought the rest of these and as you see they're already level 20. I don't think you need any more than 36910 chefs because when I went up there and took a look they were kind of stand around. They really cook things pretty fast guys. So this is the layout right here. What you want to do is from the entrance. It's easy if you put down carpet so you can kind of keep track of things. But ultimately, guys, here it is right here. You can go ahead and freeze this video or I'll keep it steady for just a second. But the teleporter is in the back. You're going to want to place long tables or you can place short tables if you prefer. But either way, let's go with long tables that can fit four people. You need one, two like that. Put the chairs all around it and then right up against the wall, the window. Put another one, two, three with matching chairs, just like it's shown here, guys. And then this is the only tricky part above here. You're going to have a long table directly above uh, this one all the way to the left. And then you're going to stagger it. You're going to stagger whatever kind of table you can get right here because you want to block this off. You want to make it so these chairs touch each other. And ultimately, you only have two free spots right here if you don't have the cart. You have these two free spots right here for people to actually move because that's all you want. Now, the customers that come in and the waiters that come down and let them in, they're going to all flow down as you're seeing, right? They're going to go boom, 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 boom. They're going to either pick a table down low or they're going to go ahead up into one of these floors right here. In which case, they pop out and then they go ahead and choose their destination just like I said. And that's the beauty of it, guys. Every floor is the exact same. Just go ahead, pause the video, take a screenshot, and this is it. It's simple, simple, simple. Start at the back teleporter and build just like this, guys. In fact, it's so strong and so easy. I'm going to go on and show you a character I just started about an hour and a half ago and got started and how things are looking and how you're going to progress to go forward with this current build right here and get 5,000 plus customers per hour. Super easy, guys. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we are on the noob right here. This is uh, this is just another alt, guys. I don't even really know. He's looking like an alien himself, okay? Uh, don't judge me. But anyways, guys, here it is. You'll notice this looks pretty similar, doesn't it? So check it out to what you just saw. Here it is. Now he doesn't have the double tables yet, so he's using all of the single tables, guys. In the shop, it is the cheap chairs and the cheap tables. You might just have to buy two cheap tables to equal one tiki table. And yeah, the cheap chairs are 50, so that's all, all I did right here. As you see, there's basically uh, the same amount. There's six chairs across this way. We have the four chairs up here, and this is where the teleporter would be, right here where I'm jumping. And then here is the staggered table approach from the left side. We have the boom, 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 boom leaving only the two free spots and this is right at the entrance because as you start out guys what you're going to want to do if you're a, literally a brand new character and you don't have anything built up what you're going to want to do is basically tear apart all the stuff that comes over here because it's kind of really inefficient start building it right next to the door you don't want people to walk any further than they have to so what you want to do is relocate your order table your dishwasher here and put your stove right here buy another stove put it here uh, and then start blocking off things right I bought a bunch of cactuses or you could buy use the counters that you broke down which are these right here and what you want to do is just basically just make your chef and your chefs as you get them stay right here in the spot so they can pick an order cook it put it back pick an order cook it they don't have to move it is solid now the same approach goes here customers come in they're really close to getting into the table space. Your waiters are doing the same thing as I said before. They're getting orders, picking them up, and they don't have to walk very far, guys. They're always going to usually walk right here. They could drop the order off here, pick it up, and the dishwasher is right here, guys. Now, I know this is a little bit more advanced, but it doesn't matter what level dishwasher you use. I've been using all the cheap ones up until this one right here, guys. I just recently got. And you want to upgrade your stuff along the way. To show you what the status is right now, I have the better dishwasher I literally just bought. And then I have actually the stainless steel stove right here. That's that one. I have the better stove and then the regular stove right there. Uh, so that's really it for appliances. I didn't get anything too crazy. Now, this is the, the flow right here. This is working out pretty darn good. It looks like they're cooking way faster than they need to. And the dishwasher is now taking care of business without me having to continuously go to build, pick up, sell it because you can do that guys you can sell it and plop it right back down instantly and it takes away anything that was in there so that's a good little hack and trick for you right there but let's go ahead and wrap things up i'm going to show you how you progress so we get from this point up until 
uh, the point where you have several floors and the build is primarily focused right here, guys. Well, at this point, about 3,500, this is actually almost perfect. This is where you could actually choose to start buying the Tiki tables just for convenience sake. So you're going to need a total of seven tables. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start with those right there. And now this is how you do the build. So in all clarity, guys, this is the build right here. So start back at the teleporter, go one spot off, put that first table there, put the second table directly under it, guys, right? Now, you're gonna want to save room for a row of chairs, so go one spot over right there and do one, two, three. This is beautiful, guys, oh my god. Now this is where we start staggering. So, um, this is where we had the one table right here staggered, uh, starting right here, and then the stagger goes right here, just like that, the stagger, because you're gonna have chairs fill up all this stuff. So there it is right there, go back to the shop. I'm gonna buy the Tiki chairs because I want them to match. I just really like the way it is. So I'm gonna need actually 28 of these. So I better go ahead and just get my clicking done and get the 28. Let's hope I actually have enough uh, money for this. Two, one more. Oh my God, barely just enough, let's go. So this is now where you're gonna start putting them down just like this right here. Go ahead, get them going and, oh, oh, no, you don't want this one like this. So this one right here is a little bit tricky because of the spot. Just give it a little rotation. You want that one facing that table and like this. So this is how you want them. Go ahead and put them here, 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 here. Make sure these are all facing the correct tables and finally on this side right here. Now the beautiful thing about this is you are now going to start attracting more customers, guys. This is awesome. So they're gonna be, have no choice but to walk through the cactuses, but this is where you start to actually focus things up and start blocking things off. So at this point, what I'm going to do, uh, just temporarily, I'm just gonna, oh my God, Santa Claus. Yo, let's go Santa Claus. I'm gonna just, uh, while we're in the transition phase, it's not uh, too crazy if you know they have to walk a little bit of an extra distance. It's not going to be the end of the world, but you definitely wanna go ahead and refer back to the build on my other character that I just showed you before this. And this is where you really start blocking things off because you wanna funnel people in to this little zone right here. You wanna make sure that they eventually start going down the path that you create and don't go past it. So that's what we're ultimately gonna do. From these doors right here, we're gonna have the pathing go up from these doors so that the customer has to walk right here They'll walk through the floor, they'll either pick a table and chair or they'll teleport up to my next floor when I do purchase it and life will be good and I can just go ahead and continue that process up. Now right now I don't have any other floors. I want to build a little bit more money before I do so so that I can make sure that I get the flow right because as you see here now as I'm making the transition I'm going to have to start breaking down tables and when I get the money buy the floors and also you're going to want to rotate your kitchen right. You're gonna to wanna to take your kitchen and you're gonna to wanna to probably rotate it a little bit closer in the short time frame before you can buy additional floors and put it on floor number three like I showed you. Um, just go ahead and give it a little rotation. It's not the end of the world, but once you start buying more floors, guys, just do the same thing right here. Use cactuses, plants, whatever you prefer to block off a few rows and you'll be on your way to actually just making 5,000 customers per hour. Have the huge chef cat in less than a day and uh, yeah, you'll be pretty happy. So feel free to rewind, check back on my other character, see the exact layout in its final form. And I just showed you how to transition the beginner form as well, guys. So yeah, I'll have my chef kit. I can't wait to show it all to you. And yeah, until next time, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.